Hello guys, today in this quick video I want to mention six random tips about eloquent relationships, partly from my Laravel tips repository which is public on GitHub and I will link to that in the description below, but let's make a rapid fire video. So did you know that with relationships you can define has many belongs to or whatever and then add conditions. So you can define products or for example a separate relationship products by name where you can order those products by name by default. Or here you can add where conditions, you can add more stuff to filter the relationship specifically with some condition. Tip number two is how to avoid the non-existing relationship for this one, for example. If the post author doesn't exist, if it was soft deleted or something like that, there are many ways how to prevent that, but the most elegant in my opinion is with default inside of the model. So instead of doing question marks or there's also optional helper in Laravel, you can define with default or you can even define the default values for that object. So if the author name doesn't exist, you can fall back to guest author, for example. Next, if you have multiple levels of relationships, so for example, author has many books and book has many ratings. In everywhere, in has, in where conditions, you can use dot notation to query deeper relationships. So this example is for has, but for example, you can do author with and then load those two. It could be two levels below or in the other way around, it could be rating with book dot author, something like that. So dot notation can be used for multiple level of relationships. Next tip about with is, did you know that you can load with relationship and then specify the fields, only the fields that would be selected from that relationship. Quite often actually in terms of performance, I see that people load the related table with full table with full fields, although they actually use only one or two fields or even count. So for count, there's a specific with count thing, but if you need just a few columns, you can specify them like this. Next thing, when loading the relationship, for example, this is an example of load count or load, but the same example goes with with. You can define the conditions here. So not just load book with reviews, but with reviews and then callback function where review rating is five. It's actually similar to the first example of condition on belongs to or has many relationship in the model, but you can also define the same or similar condition on a specific query where you load that relationship in the controller, for example, or in a service class or whatever. And final tip for this quick video, the idea was a rapid fire video. So you can randomize not only the model, but also similar example. You see the pattern now, you can load the relationship with more conditions and one of the conditions could be in random order. So this example is pretty typical for quizzes. So you get the question with random orders of answers of options. So that's it for this video. If you want more tips on eloquent relationships and other things, there's Laravel tips repository. I will link that in the description below with 194 tips at the moment. 29 of them are related to model relationships. So those are quick tips, but if you want to dive deeper and improve your knowledge about Eloquent, I have three courses related to Eloquent. So the newest one just released better Eloquent performance. So you can learn how to do those with queries in a better way in terms of performance. Also related course is how to structure databases in Laravel. So how to structure those relationships, what are the options and what are the best practices. And also there's much older course from 2018 Laravel Eloquent Expert Level, where I dive deep on a lot of Eloquent internals and majority of those things are still relevant even from Laravel 5.7 version. And as an older course, it is cheaper. It's $9 plus VAT if that tax is applied to you. But probably the best deal to get all those courses is to subscribe to the yearly membership of my Teachable courses where for $99 plus tax again, if that is applied to you, for $99 you will get all the courses, including those three and others I will release a year ahead. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.